I told you, it's war in drone world. Because even before GoPro can properly launch and introduce and distribute their drone system called Karma, DJI already comes with an answer. And it's called Mavic. Mavic. It's like DJI had some good spies around and knew what GoPro was doing and was prepared for this and meanwhile was developing something new. Because it's it's just very similar and it's it's targeting the same group of people, I guess. DJI used to have GoPros under their drones, then DJI said we're going to use our own cameras and then GoPro says what, okay, then we need to have a drone too, so they are developing a drone, they just launched it, they postponed it for a month, uh, of course a new company, new product, they're not used to make this, DJI says uh, oh you're going to make a drone, we're going to make a better drone, okay, so let's make a comparison. I couldn't find it on the GoPro website what exactly the size is but if you look at the videos and compare it and DJI said that the Mavic is 20 centimeters that's like this big what when you fold it you know you can see it on the backpack you just click it on the backpack you don't need a backpack for it you just click it on the backpack you have that is just incredibly small and the Karma weighs like one kilogram and I think it's even without the camera so you have to add that and the Mavic is 740 grams so it's like 25% less or one third more whatever way you calculate it but that is just great very small very good I love it I can just put it in my suitcase fly wherever and it's so much easier than the big Phantom 4 that I have right now and it's smaller than the Karma. Both have the camera in front and the reason for this is, is like that you will not get the propellers in view or not, not as easy as for instance with the Phantom. There's a big disadvantage and that is like if you crash into something then your camera is gone, the gimbal is gone, the most expensive parts get hit first. That's a disadvantage for, for, for the Karma. So what uh, DJI did, they, they have a protective cover around the camera that is just very good. But it's not the only thing. I think the big difference between the two is is that the Mavic has sensors. It has sensors. You hear me? It has sensors. Like the Phantom 4. And I think after the Phantom 4 they cannot be any drone anymore without sensors. Because the sensors see what's up front or what's down and I think the next drones will have at the sides and in the back and up too. But anyway, they will protect you from flying into something. Into a tree, a building, a car, whatever. And that makes drones so much safer these days. This is the way to go. I think this sensor system and this collision protection system that saves you from like 95% of the crashes that normally occur. That is just very good and that's a big big plus for the Mavic. And Karma doesn't have it. If GoPro will survive in the world with their drone, Karma 2.0 needs to have sensors. You cannot do without it. So the Karma is like 850 and with the camera 4 with some accessories 4.5 you know it's like 1300 plus. You can buy the Mavic for 1200 euros. So it's a little bit cheaper. The big plus for the Karma still is that you do not need a separate gimbal for the handheld footage that you want to shoot. You can just detach the camera and the gimbal from the drone, put it on a handheld stick and shoot like this. With the Mavic, if you want to shoot handheld video, you still need a separate gimbal and that drives the price up. So, with a separate handheld gimbal, you're cheaper with the Karma. So the Karma says it has 20 minutes flight time, 
probably this will be like 15 16 minutes the Mavic says they have 27 minutes of flight time practically that will be like 20 minutes Mavic wins the Mavic has full HD transmission full HD that is like incredible I want to see that that is wow big thing DJI is going to come with their own goggles. So if you have the full HD with their own goggles, that, that is going to be tremendous. That's going to be mind-blowing. I, I really, I mean, I have the Fat Shark now, the Dominator V3. It's good, it's nice, it's sweet, but the quality of the screen is not the best of the best. It could be better. And if you have full HD, I cannot even process it right now. But big thing, DJI. <laughs> Look at the goggles. Seriously, this is so huge. This is like big thing. What? You cannot show yourself outside with big goggles like this, you know. It's even bigger than the drone or what? Or, or, or you can put the drone in the goggles. If you have something like this, it's like you just step out of a music video with electronic dance like uh, uh, uh. seriously i have to put that in my suitcase i i i that's impossible please i think there are alternatives epson comes with with glasses you can look through the glasses and the 720p hd uh, video can be transmitted in the glasses that is something i think yeah that's the way to go but not like Nevertheless, I hope that the Karma will succeed. It's competition. Would DJI have come with the Mavic if GoPro would not have come with the Karma? Right? And it's good that there is competition because it will put the price down. It will stimulate innovation. They will have to try to come up with better and better stuff. So that's good. And it would be a pity if GoPro just stranded like within three months because this killer Mavic drone, you know, because then that's the end, basically the end of GoPro and we will not have competition and everything is going to be very expensive for, uh, for us. If you compare the Mavic with a Phantom 4, wow, my Phantom 4 is for sale. If somebody wants it, I will put my signature in it. You know, after a year or two years when this channel just completely blown up and whatever, it will be worth millions. Seriously, consider it. You can buy my Phantom 4 so I can buy the Mavic. Yeah, you can email me. And Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos because there's a lot more in store and we live in an interesting time. There's a lot of more in store and we live in an interesting time. And please give me any comments, whatever. I read everything, I reply to many, and maybe I will use some of your suggestions for a new video.